Malaysia's government is warning of possible floods as rainy season approaches. But authorities are confident that Kuala Lumpur's central business district will escape a major flood like that seen in Bangkok. Kuala Lumpur literally means muddy river mouth in the Malay language. Like its name suggests, the city sits on a low-lying area prone to perennial floods. Sungai Klang, the major river that runs through the city centre, has 11 tributaries. This is Masjid Jame, one of the oldest mosques in the city of Kuala Lumpur. Now for decades, the surrounding areas, including the nearby banking district and the independent square, were prone to flooding. Each time there's a heavy downpour, the rivers overflowed. Up to here. Up to here. That means all the goods, all bad things. So I lost nearly about 20,000. Some of them had to raise their shop entrances to tackle the rising flood waters. But things have changed since 2007, when the country's first dual-purpose tunnel in the city's south began operation. Us, those, those trailers uh, in Nazi Jami, they are now very happy because they can actually do their business. They can, uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are more better now. Yeah? Uh, since smart in operation. Smart stands for stormwater management and road tunnel. It's a four kilometer motorway which can be flooded in the event of a prolonged downpour or major storm. The tunnel can channel up to 300 cubic meters of water per second through bypass tunnels from holding ponds in various catchment areas to a permanent pond outside Kuala Lumpur. So far, the tunnel has only been flooded once. The structure it's designed for 100 years, actually, for 100 years. Uh, but anyway, uh, if it's exit uh, in the capacity, I, uh, I believe that the, the authorities, they have the option, they have the alternative plan. But the system is designed to prevent floods in only 45% of the city center. The rest of Kuala Lumpur is still susceptible to flash floods. Melissa Go, Channel News Asia, Kuala Lumpur.